this is what you're going to be doing today. You're going to take a block, and you're going to shine a light through it, and it's going to refract. Uh, move the thing up and down. Now, different angles, different angles will give you different bends. So if you look on your book on page 44, it'll show you, go up to the top for it. They want you to start at an angle like this, all right? You're gonna put your laser here on your block of glass, and you're gonna draw where you see the laser on the paper here, and then you're gonna draw where you see the laser on the paper here. Here. paper. And remember, read the steps one step at a time. I wanna show you just how simple this lab is gonna be today. Here's a sheet of paper and here's a block of glass. I gently place the block of glass on the paper. I pick up a pencil and I trace around the block of glass so that I have an outline of a block of glass on a piece of paper. I make sure that this is all lined up. I take my laser splitter and I take my laser and I will need someone's assistance here, someone who's a proficient laser -or. Sandra, Sandra, would you please laser up here? Oh, here. Uh, you will need to stand here, and you will need to get that laser line right here. You might want to come over to this. Let me get the lights so that I... Now, Sandra's going to create a line that goes from one side of the... See, this is beautiful. You are an excellent laser war. Come here, please. Laser. I have a pencil, she has a laser beam on here. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to gently try and draw upon the laser. Now notice on page 44, do you see the picture on page 44? Yes. Yes, good. Thank you very much. Now, this is the first part. I take my, trick, my handy ruler, see how simple that is? I take my pencil and my ruler and I try to draw this line because I did it freehand as straight as possible on this side, as straight as possible on this side, and I have something like a diver down here. You see that right there? Everyone sees that? Now I take this and I take point A and I take point B and I connect the dots. Now, what do you notice about this line from here to there? Uh, what is a fancy word that we like to use in science? It's refracted. All right, it's refracted. Now, I have to draw two normals. Where will I place those two normals? Right there. Very good. Uh, 90 degrees off the glass blocks where the light enters and exits the blocks. This is the ray of incidence. So I will draw an arrow pointing it in, and I will write the word in. And then I will draw normal here. This is the ray of refraction within here, refracted ray. And this is actually refracted ray one. See how that goes in there? And I draw my normal going straight across here. Now, on one side from air to glass, and I should put air to glass here, I have the angle of incidence, and inside my glass, I have the angle of refraction, like you see up here, right? Angle of incidence, angle of refraction. Now, this is kind of tricky. Maybe it's kind of goofy. I don't know. But here, we have the opposite. We have our ray going into this boundary that's inside the glass. It's all the same ray, isn't it? It's all the same. But it's going to bend here, too. So this is now our ray of incidence. And if I draw a normal here, this here is my angle of incidence for point boundary two. And this is my angle of refraction for my refracted ray coming out. And I'm going to draw arrows there and arrows there. Are right, you see this? So I have an angle of incidence and angle of refraction for one boundary between two media, and I have an angle of incidence and an angle of refraction for the boundary between two media. Glass to air, or I'm sorry, air to glass is one boundary, 
Glass to air is the second boundary. You guys all see all that? Very good. Step number two is where you start. Go right ahead and enjoy yourself. Beat step two. Follow the directions very carefully. <laughs> Did you draw the lines yet? No, we got the dots. Right. Yeah. This is really nice. Let me see. All right, now you got to do this. Read out to the next one. The better the If I come in here and I come in like that, where does it exit? <laughs> We're off a little bit here, right? Yeah. I suggest, I, you know, I think where we are right now, we might want to just start over at this point. Now, what I'd like to suggest is that you have a, a, a nice angle coming in like this. See how this comes in? Mm -hmm. Now watch. It goes through and it comes out over there. Do you have a pen? Uh, yeah. All right, touch the red dot. Keep doing it. Come on. Red dot. Red dot. Red dot. Red dot. Right here. Red dot. Red dot. All right, stop. Use these lines. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, draw a... Uh, and that'll give you a little more... Uh, better perspective on how to get the angles. Because if you do this, if you do it straight on, mm -hmm. if you do it straight on, watch, you don't get any any refraction at all. And the less you have, the less refraction. The more angle you have, mm -hmm. the more refraction you have that's going to take place. You also get, remember that reflection? Look. See that? Mm -hmm. Equal, equal, equal. And we have labeled, this line is labeled the normal, and this line over here is, is labeled the normal. We have our angle of refraction and our angle of incidence as the light goes in. So which is our incident ray? Where did you laser from? All right, so you need to draw arrows representing that. Remember with the law, with the mirror? We did an incident and refraction. We show the arrow, the direction it's going in, right? So you, you see these arrows? Yeah. It shows it going through here. We need to label it with those saying this is where it came from, this is where it entered, and this is where it exited. We need to put the words angle of incidence and angle of refraction in here and where? Yes, excellent. And then we'll need to measure and create a table just like over here. Zero on the normal. Where's zero on your, on your compass protractor here? There you go. Zero on the normal. And now whatever you read, that's the number you have. What do you have now? 45. There you go. What do you get? Some, some calculators, you have a newer one. I got old-fashioned calculators. You might have to hit uh, sign 47. But these calculators that I have here. 1.23. No. Let's see. You got radians on that calculator. All right, 47. And then I hit the button sign, and it says 0.73. So... You put here, wasn't that the class I spoke to about that last time? You put here equals 0 0.73 for those guys. Now what was the other one you had? 29. 29. So on this calculator, I hit 29, and then I hit sign, and it says 0 0.484. 0 0.48, and then I'll just leave it right there. Now your index will reflect. Fraction is 0 0.73 divided by 0 0.48 equals, and you have 1.52 index of refraction.